What's up guys, my name is Chris Matarasu, and in today's video we are going to be looking at a new map that PUBG released not so long ago and we are going to be talking about best drops, where can you drop, as well as some hidden tunnels. I will show you a cool map that you can look at and see what is the best drop position for you. And before we begin, I quickly wanted to mention that I'm doing some coaching sessions First 15 minutes are completely free, we are going to go through your mistakes, fix your problems and you will become a better player. Hit me up on Discord, links are in the description. Alright, and now we can see a really really cool map. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the name of the author, but I will uh, leave all the links in the description. Thanks for that cool and actually unique map, even on the site that's called Pub map io they haven't released karakin yet so that's that all right um we are going to go through some some of the best tunnels uh i haven't been in all of them but uh i've been in like a center one uh this one on the bottom left of hadiga nemo as well as at the bottom of uh Bach Sahir, or I know how to pronounce that. And I gonna tell you, if you are a solo player, I don't recommend you dropping to the center tunnels or to the bottom tunnel. Big ones. The reason is simple. You are going to encounter a lot of players. Facts. What I strongly suggest you to do is to drop either to the bottom of Bacher Sahir or somewhere to the bottom of Hadiga Nemo. But, um, I gotta warn you, if you are a new player, I suggest you to pick a city or a compound that is on the edge. This way you minimize your... This way you minimize areas when players just can run out and kill you. I've got killed so many times in the back at this map when I was just casually playing and running down the hill and some random guy just pops out of nowhere and kills me. And I've switched the strategies and now I drop mainly to Bahar Sahir or uh, I'll hike. I feel like these are the best cities that you can drop right now or like a villages. I don't know. I don't recommend you uh, Aihabar. It's like the top, top right because you have a lot of... Um, like six stories or five stories or like a lot of floors buildings they are not good for fighting and people can camp there and unfortunately um, if you are staying passive on this map you are in a more favorable position okay so uh, that's that I'll show you the loot after I came out of uh, a tunnel below uh, Bahar Sahir and it was a-okay it would be better if I would just looted the city instead, but I went for the tunnel. It was quite fun, and then uh, in the end I actually won the game, and I will show you that as well. So that's the loot you can see on the screen. I have tier 2 armor, um, enough medicine, as well as a smoke and two mollies. Unfortunately, I'm missing out on some uh, 762 as well as a scope and a cheek pad but it's not a big problem it's not a huge issue when it comes to Kraken I killed the person and I grabbed everything from his corpse so that's it so uh, TLDR don't drop into the big cities I strongly recommend you Bahar Sahir and I Hayuk if you are a new player don't drop into the center compounds as well as to the central tunnels and if you want to drop to the tunnel uh, choose some small ones with like one room. You will get enough loot if you are playing solo.
Are you playing without sound, sweet? That was a mistake by me. So that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed it leave a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and hit me up on discord for some coaching sessions. I wish you good luck gentlemen, Chris Amaterasu, out.